Okay, took out the battery compartment here. And I guess these are the two ECUs that they're talking about. And it's mentioning unplugging the bottom one. They're stacked on top of each other, so I guess that's this thing right here. Uh, looks like there's just this one connection here. Okay, so this tab right here, you slide out like that. Get the out. Nope, I was wrong. If you pull hard, you can get it to slide way out like that. Now, you should be able to unplug this whole thing. That's a big guy. Lot of wires for you to see. this thing looks like now. So it slides back in so we'll tuck him out of the way in here. So this is the message you're going to get when uh, you unplug the EDC suspension. And you'll notice it's not going to show up down here anymore under suspension. It's just blank. So we start with our cable here. And we're going to plug this into our ODB down under there. Uh, you can see that's all plugged up. Other end of the cable is Ethernet into the laptop. Now this is going to assume that you already have ESYS installed and able to launch it. Uh, after 2018, you know that you have to get the reloader or whatever it's called thing ask Sean and he'll give you directions here so we have to go to expert mode click on coding now up here we can click connect and this is an M4 which falls under the F020 non direct one it's got my VIN here Connect. Connection established. Okay, now we can click on read. It'll read the VO. Here's our FA. I've heard different orders of steps here where we're going to activate FA. And you'll note I do have my car running now just to uh, keep the battery charged while we're messing with the stuff before we code anything. And I can click read ECU. And we get all of this stuff. So now I'm supposed to remove the 2VF which people just say that but I have no idea how to do that so we will look through see if we find anything that looks like a 2VF let me make this window bigger so let's learn together Okay, all I know is that if you click on the ones with the green arrows that say start with CAFD, you can click on this read SVT. read coding data. Okay. Everything was okay. Now it has an expanding box. Do edit 
FDL. And here are the things you can change. I don't see anything about a 2VF, so we can click on our back button. Let's go through a few of these. Uh huh. Okay, it wasn't that hard. I was making it harder than it really was. If you. Let me back up here. So it's under this S A L A P A element, which is under type. is under F Z A blah, blah blah German under F A so we made F A active already so if we open this folder uh, close header under type Lots of things here. I don't know what's in there. Okay, not much. So that left me with this folder, which has lots of these things. Okay, so first we're gonna save our original. Okay, we look all this FA. So we're going to edit go back to in here to the F. Okay. Before we delete, oh, I'll just change the name, okay. to delete. Okay. That is done. Save. Oops, I guess I should have saved that as a different name. Nah. Back. Okay, so we will reload this newly saved module. have this in here. No more to VF. Okay. Okay, also if you just click on this S-A-L-A-P element, it will show all the values down here. You can edit it directly here and then click on save from here. And it says that we want to validate our FA first. So you can do calculate FP. And there were no errors, so it was good. Uh, then you can save it, but I already saved it out of order here. Right, click on back.